So to solve problem 10, we're going to use the integrating factors method. We can already see that this equation fits the form of integrating factors, since it's a function of t multiplying y. And then we just have a constant on this other side. And remember, this, of course, could also be a function of t. So we're going to go ahead and assign our mu function. We're going to remember to carry the negative sign with us as we go. All right, so this isn't too bad of an integral. We're just going to end up using uh, u substitution, where uh, u is going to equal 1 plus t squared. du equals 2t dt. We see we already have that equation, so we can just go ahead and substitute in. So this is actually equal to e to the negative power of 1 over u du. And that, of course, is just going to be equal to e to the negative natural log of u. Now we can use log rules to take this negative into the exponent. So we're going to get this. And of course, the e cancels out the natural log because they're inverses of each other. So we're just going to get 1 over u. Substituting back in u, we get 1, one over 1 plus t squared. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and multiply this original equation across by mu. And that's going to give us uh, well, actually, let's just write this the nicer way. So again, we're going to use the reverse product rule because we can see that this portion of the equation is the result of a product rule. And we're going to get from that observation this. both sides with respect to t, like we're used to, to get this expression. So to do this integral, we just remember that the integral of uh, 1 over one plus t squared is going to equal the inverse tangent function of t. So then this equals three arctan t plus c. And then we can go ahead and multiply over this one over one plus t to get our final solution, y of t equals 3 times 1 plus t squared arctan of t plus c times 1 plus t squared. And that is our solution.